welcome to another Watson Brothers Stats video for October 2023. As you all probably know, the Bank of Canada has held the interest rate, which is a very happy gift to us as consumers as well as to realtors. So the Bank of Canada, is, we're sitting at not at 5.0, which the going interest rate for a bank for a mortgage is sitting at about 7%. But what the Bank of Canada has done in their language is that, is that they have reserve the right to either a hold the interest rate coming into december or b increase it which as consumers does not bode any confidence because we're still we're still hoping and waiting that mm -hmm. they don't do anything in december but on top of the interest rate that we have just kind of heard there's also been some new information that has come out to us from the government and they are changing some major rules here in Kelowna. Yeah, absolutely. I can talk on that a little bit. So there's mm -hmm. two major regulations here in both BC along with federally. So um, the one would be the short term rental. So they're trying to combat the the little housing that they have, affordable housing in BC, by kind of diminishing the amount of short-term rentals that we have in certain areas around BC and in Canada. So they are going to phase that out with sort of finalizing it in about May 2024, so mm -hmm. late spring. Uh, and then the other one is um, removing some of the zoning barriers for lots in a lot of British Columbia um, to have more small-scale units, so lots of townhouses, um, laneway houses, things mm -hmm. like that, in order to again combat sort of the affordable housing crisis so that will also be phased out there's a lot of more information to come so i just want to make our consumers aware of what's going on um, i'm sure they'll have some more press releases and more information coming soon so we'll keep our eyes on that um and yeah we'll it, keep keep our eyes peeled it's one of those kind of things that we're just kind of waiting for the government they seem mm -hmm. to be kind of touching a lot of things right now and yeah. kind of going back to ian with the stats and seeing do you think this is going to increase the value for maybe some lots out there or? Well, we don't know yet because we don't know in classic government fashion. We don't know what the details are and the details are the important things. They've kind of hit the market with some broad strokes in terms of what they're planning to do, how it actually drills down and becomes actionable so that people like us have to deal with it and consumers have to deal with it. <laughs> we're not quite sure. We'll see when that happens yeah. in, uh, in the spring of next year. But for now, the stats this month were not good. And I'm gonna talk about how that's a bit of an advantage Ooh, for some people. <laughs> yeah, the numbers, the numbers are definitely down right across the board. The um, number of listings taken is down about 4% versus a year ago. The number of units sold is down about 19%. And the dollar volume of those units sold is down about 25%. Ooh, wow. So what that means is the three big categories that we track, how uh, single family townhouses and apartments, they are all off in terms of the amount of units that are being sold. And where we see that as an advantage, and let me give you a real life example. I was out on the weekend with three different sets of buyers. The first set group of buyers, I was up at Big White looking at condos, <clears throat> typical two bed, two baths. And those are typically available um, throughout the season. And right now when, when inventory gets tight up there, there's not many. We booked 10 appointments. I expected in a normal market to be able to go see four. We could actually see all 10 because there was no offers on wow. anything. So that's an indication of where the buying market is. We mm -hmm. came into town with some other buyers. I booked appointments to see five single family homes with one group. We were able to see all five. Wow. I looked at a, a, my third group on the weekend. We were looking at, again, single family homes. We looked at three, all three were available. So that gives you an idea. And what does that mean for my buyers? That means my buyers have complete opportunity to negotiate. Are they going to offer list price on a property? Not a chance. <laughs> Are they going to do their best to uh, you know, grind out the best deal that they can? Yeah. And we're not saying that some of those houses weren't well priced, they were, but there's no, right now, there's no incentive to move forward and snap it up because they know or most buyers feel that they could just sit mm -hmm. and see where things are going to go. Right now, we don't know where they're going to go, but I can tell you, if you are a buyer and you're a parent sitting on some money and your kids need a place and you've been wondering, do we help them out? Do we get them into the market? Prices are down and negotiating abilities on the behalf of the buyers mm -hmm. is huge. We haven't seen this in a long time. So there's a, a great, there's a yeah. great opportunity for buyers. If you need anything else or you want to talk to us about the buying market, feel free to give us a call anytime. 250-712-2222.